Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set any songs that you have on your phone as a ringtone uh, in uh, iOS 13. Now we're going to need to use um, an app called GarageBand. This app will help us to uh, trim, cut the files and convert the songs into a compatible format that iPhone uh, can understand. Now first we need to um, uh, install the app, so make sure you install this app already. Next, I'm going to um, launch the Safari browser. So here is the Safari browser. So I'm just going to clear that. So go down the list here. I'm just going to go to a website, YouTube Audio Library. Now you can download uh, songs uh, from any uh, sources that you can get. So for example, you can go into Google and try to search for the songs that you like and then try to download it. For, for me, I'm just going to go to YouTube Audio Library and I'm going to look for songs that I want to download. So I'm just going to pick up a random uh, songs and I'm trying to download it. So here I'm going to download this uh, songs called Jukebox and I'm going to tap on download button. So in the uh, download manager up here, you can see if I tap on that, it shows me the Jukebox songs. And if I go into file manager, I have three songs here. Now I'm going to choose Jukebox as a songs I'm going to set as a ringtone. Now let's go back to the home screen. So swipe up, go back to the home screen and launch this app. GarageBand, make sure you install it from the App Store. So um, instead of uh, tapping and open it uh, an easier way, I'm just going to close it. So I'm just going to close it as well. So you can tap and hold, tap and hold, and it will bring up a contextual menu. Then tap on Create New Track Song. So tap on that. And then it will immediately go to the audio recorder. If you don't uh, select that from, uh, from this one here, so if you don't select, if you don't select the create new track songs from the contextual menu, and if you open up GarageBand, it may open up something else. And if it's not, if it, if it doesn't go to audio recorder, then you can uh, tap on tracks, and then you can swipe across uh, like this to find audio recorder. Once you see audio recorder, just tap on it to, op to open. Then next, tap on the OK button. And then tap on this button here to change to to, to uh, timeline. So tap on the timeline button, and now we're into a timeline. Next, you need to uh, tap on this loop button to select the song. So tap on it, and then tap on files. So by default, it is set to Apple Loops. Tap on files, and then tap on browse item from the files app. Now you can see jukebox appears at the top here. If it doesn't appear, so you can try to browse it. Tap on the browse button and try to uh, browse it. Now you can see in this downloads folder, it has a uh, songs in here. Now this songs is the one that I have copied from my computer uh, to the phone. So if you have copied any music from the computer uh, to your device, you can also use it as well. I'm going to choose this one instead. So I'm going to tap on the recent tab, then tap on jukebox. Now it may take a second or two for the songs to appear in the list. Tap on the songs that you want to use. So tap and hold. So tap on hold on the song. Then drag it out into the timeline. You can see in this timeline here, it's only show up to 8 seconds. Now by default, uh, for the ringtone to work, it should be up to 30 seconds. So we can change it. So I'm going to tap on this plus icon. See, tap, uh, tap on the plus icon right there. Then tap on this uh, section A. And then we want to tap on the up arrow to increase it to 30 seconds. So tap on it. And now we are up to 30 seconds. Then tap on done. And you can see now the song expanded out its timeline to 30 seconds. Now what you want to do is um, you can tap, uh, double tap on the timeline to trim the songs. So say if you do not want the ringtone to start at the beginning of the song, but at a particular section, then you can tap and hold, um, tap. So sorry, double tap on the timeline and then tap on trim. So tap on the trim button. And then you need to drag this um, slider bar right here. So drag it and then you need to drag this one here as well. So drag it to the section where you want the songs to start. And then you can drag it more and then you can drag it to the beginning. So let's say you want the beginning to start right there, then drag it to the beginning. And then you want to drag this one all the way to the end so that it fits in the 30 seconds time frame. 
You can also tap on the play button to have a preview. So you can tap on the play button just to hear a preview of the songs. If you don't like it, you can continue to edit until you are happy with the songs. Next, after that, you can uh, tap on the down arrow button at the top here. Tap on that button and then tap on my songs. Now that has been saved into your recent, uh, into your GarageBand recent uh, list. So tap on this one here, tap and hold. So you need to tap and hold. So tap and hold, and then you have a, um, a pop-up. Then go all the way down to the bottom and then tap on the share button. Tap on share, then tap on ringtone. So tap on ringtone, and then tap on continued. And then at this point, you can name the ringtone. So you can give it a name. So give it a name and then tap on done. And then tap on export. So tap on export button at the top here. And it is now exporting as ringtones. So let's just give it a second for it to convert. Then you can also tap on use sounds as. Now from the pop-up you could choose standard ringtone, standard text tone, or assign to a specific contact. So let's say you want to set at standard ringtone, select on that. And that's it, so that's, you're done. You have successfully created a ringtone. Now we can go and check it out. So I'm just gonna go into settings. So from the home screen, tap on settings, then go down and tap on uh, sounds and haptics. Then tap on ringtone. And you can see here it's a my custom ringtone. And that's my custom ringtone right there. And if you want to assign the ringtone to a contact, you can go into uh, the phone app, tap on contacts, and then select a contact that you want to use, and then tap on edit, and then go to ringtone, and then you can also choose my custom ringtone there. And then tap on done. So that's how you can also assign a ringtone to a specific contact after you have created the ringtone. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.